Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. It's March 1st. You know what that means? I'm going to look back on how I did with my February goals and look forward to what I've got planned for March. My February goals didn't quite go as planned, but there was a good reason. I got a custom order for a baby blanket. And I think that I underquoted it because it took a lot of time to make. But it is done. It is packaged and on its way to the customer. And now I am free to work on what I want to. So there were two items on my February list that I never got around to. One was the purchased not made pattern. I have a cute pattern for a cute little horse in a pajama, hooded pajama thing. I, I think the, the series was called PJ Pets. And just never even had a chance to start it. So he is being moved to March. No problem. Hakuna Matata. Um, the other one, I did design my Monster of the Month. I made this guy, but I did not publish the pattern yet. I want to make another one and see if I can get this neck to bend a little more gracefully so that you know you don't have to like force it down here and i was thinking of making the hands a little thinner maybe maybe make the hands so that they can be worked right into the pattern so i'm going to make another one of these and get the pattern up on my blog is the free monster of the month pattern i We'll still try to get a Monster of the Month published, like designed and published for March. I want a sneak peek. Will he show? Oh, he's like washing out. Is it? Okay. Well, I'll see. I'll try taking a picture of the sketch with my phone and see if I can put that in if that's less washed out a little bit clearer so in March as usual I will be doing the Ami book challenge where I take a book that I have on my bookshelf that I have not made anything from yet and I make something from it the March book is adorable Amagurumi and he's not shown on the front cover, but there is a dragon in there. So I'm thinking of making this dragon. Although they show it with crocheted eyes, I think I would do it with dragon safety eyes and then put a little eyelid over to make it look a little bit more fierce. So that's that plan. I also, I'm going sort of loosey-goosey with March goals. March starts the craft shows. Two weeks from tomorrow is my first craft show. I have plenty of inventory. It's just a matter of getting it packed for this show. This is the show where I have all these little cubby holes behind me and I can put up a lot of stuff. It's just getting it organized and it would help if I had the signs. It would look more professional if I had the signs done ahead of time. If I got on my computer, I made a little printout that said like pop mushrooms eight dollars rather than having a little handwritten sign so in the next two weeks like i'll take the mushroom box and put all the pop mushrooms into one ziploc bag and hopefully have a little sign in there so it's just a matter of okay all this stuff goes on the shelf okay here's another ziploc bag all that stuff goes on the shelf organization yep i want to be organized for the show I don't know if organization is my strong suit. You're just seeing the upper level of this room. 
If you could see all the stuff on the floor, you'd say, <laughs> honey, organization is not your strong suit. So, okay, I know, I'm working on it. And someday I'll have enough time to work on it. Okay. Okay, so March. Let me turn to my March page. In Ye Old Day Planner, I told, told you about the Ami Book Challenge. Um, I told you I'm going to be working on the Monster of the Month. I will, and I told you I'm going to move the Charlie Horse into March. I'm also going to be doing the Mystery Yarn Challenge with Lori the Armchair Chef again. And I'm giving myself a challenge called Clear the Tray. I'll insert a picture of this tray of yarn up on my chair that just keeps getting fuller and fuller and piled up in all this scrap yarn. It's like I'll make something and I have, like, I start with a full skein and I end up with a cake that's like three ounces. It just goes in the scrap yarn. And I want to make smaller items that sell well at craft shows with that. I don't, I doubt that I'd have, you know, pictures to put up for you, but I mentioned the pop mushroom, the pop frog, um, my butter lambs. I specifically want to have those ready for my local craft shows. Let's see, that's three, no, tomorrow's the second, second night, the 16th, I'm down in Pennsylvania, but then the week after that, the 23rd, I'm back in Western New York, butter lambs. Are hit in western New York. When I take those to a craft show I usually sell out so I want to have plenty of butter lambs for that show. That little stingray. Where'd you go Mr. Stingray? I thought I had him right here. But now I don't see him. Mr. Stingray is hiding. Stingray from Teresa's Crochet Shop. It's adorable. I want to make more. I want to make lots in all the colors because I think they'll sell. Um, axolotls. I'm a little bit low on some versions of the axolotls, like the ones that it's a little one, just that big, that comes in a sleeping bag. I think I've only got two of those. I need to beef up that. Um, and some of the new little patterns that I found lately, like the mini elephant, the mini hippo. I need to make some more of my coffee cups, more of my flip coffees. The ones where you've got, you know, one side, you've got a happy coffee cup, and then you can turn it inside out. You've got a sad coffee cup or an angry coffee cup. I need to make some more of those. So, there's there's a bunch of things that are just little projects where I can make a couple different projects in one night. I want to hit those hard and use up that scrap yarn on my legs. I know I said clear the tray, but that's sort of an impossibility because... I'm like, okay, I'm going to take this green yarn and I'm going to make something with this green and, oh, I need some yellow for it. And I have to go get yellow from the shelves back here or my stash. Well, then the yellow, I've got so much left, so then the yellow gets caked up. I may have finished off the green, but now I've added the yellow. So it's sort of a never-ending, you know, the tray will never be empty. But I do want to make some significant progress on this month. So, that's the plan. Yeah, February. February I got sidetracked a bit from my goals. So, in March, my goals are more loosey-goosey and more fun. Yeah, make little stuff. Use scrap yarn play. <laughs> so March should be a fun month. March is a birthday month. It's my husband's birthday. I'm not going to tell you how old he's going to be. And it's also our youngest daughter's birthday. She's going to be 26 this year. So wow. how did my baby turn out to be 26? That's... So this year is the year, the even year, when my girls turned 36, 34, and 26. One has already turned 36, and then the youngest will turn 26, and then later in the year, the middle child turns 34. Okay. 
I think though, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and go watch TV and play with some of the new patterns I've found and some of the old patterns and just start plugging away at that scrap yarn. Maybe I will, maybe I'll pull the yarn to get started on the dragon. I haven't decided on his colors yet. I could go really crazy with him, like make him a purple dragon with a yellow belly because I think I have purple yarn out there. I'll have to see how much I have. I don't know. I was looking through this book and I don't know where I got it. I think I might have picked it up at a thrift store. But it's okay. But a lot of the patterns I'm looking at, I'm like, well, I've got, I've got a dragon pattern I like better. There's an octopus. There's a dachshund. I have my own dachshund pattern. I'm not making somebody else's dachshund pattern. There's a lion. There's a dragonfly. I don't know if dragonflies would sell at craft shows. There's a ladybug. I have another ladybug pattern I like better. There's a giraffe. I have another giraffe pattern I like better. So, I don't know if I'll make many more out of this, but just Luna the baby dragon. I think if I change the eyes up a little bit, it, it's pretty cute. I think it'll turn out well with just a little bit of tweaking. So, that's all folks. I'm going to go play with yarn because I can because I'm done with the baby blanket. Bye bye.